Hey, what's up everyone? This is Bryce from Nintendo Everything with another video for you guys. I'm back again today because I hope you all managed to see that new Nintendo Direct that dropped yesterday morning. Now this Direct was a mini partner showcase, so Nintendo actually had none of its first party games included. Which, I'll be very honest, I was extremely wrong about all of my predictions. The next Nintendo Direct is not going to be a general presentation, it's going to be a 35th anniversary Mario Direct. This Direct will be 30 minutes, it will focus on mostly just Super Mario related games. Now I don't see... I knew that Nintendo had to rely on games that didn't take a lot of development from their own studio, but I didn't account that they could just do this with outsourcing to partner publishers. So yes, my predictions were very wrong, but it is exciting to see that we're going to get a new type of Direct, probably pretty often from what Nintendo said with this announcement. But anyway, let's get into this Nintendo Direct. It wasn't that long, about 8 minutes, so I'll try to keep my discussion under that time. Without holding you guys back any further, let's see what was announced. First off, Nintendo gave a look at some new DLC for Crypt of the Necromancer, Cadence of Hyrule. Now this DLC is coming in three separate packs. The first one being a character pack with Impa, Arya, Shadow Link, Shadow Zelda, and Frederick. Frederick looks a little goofy, but I welcome any new character into Zelda because they've always got an awesome personality to add to the series. The second pack is a song pack with 39 songs coming to the game. And I thought that this was especially cool because the soundtrack for Cadence of Hyrule is killer. Hearing some new songs remixed is definitely going to have me picking up the game again. The final third pack features a new story with Skull Kid, and seeing Skull Kid return to a Zelda game really piques my interest because he was part of the more darker Zelda games, so I'll be interested to see this new story that's going to be in Cadence of Hyrule. It is cool to see that it's getting a physical release, and the physical release will include all the DLC. I thought this was a really cool way to start off the Direct, but then I looked down at the time and I realized that this Direct was almost half way over. Save the day and look stylish while you're at it in Rogue Company. Okay, maybe more like one fourth of the way. But anyway, Nintendo didn't waste any time and got right into the next segment. This was for the already announced Rogue Company, which I had a very different impression of the first time I saw it. This time around, the way they introduced it made it seem a little bit like Fortnite, a more adult version of Fortnite. The gunplay looks slick and the gameplay looks like fun, but I do wish that Rogue Company did more to differentiate itself from the other shooters out there. I am glad they're at least bringing crossplay and cross progression as well as motion controls because it shows that they're putting time into this port they're not just throwing it out to get the most money right after this rogue company gameplay 2k dropped a trailer for a new wwe game this game is called wwe 2k battlegrounds and i'm sorry i just had to laugh at the little squashed fighters that are in this game i understand they had to change the graphical style to prevent another wwe 2k 18 mishap Going for an encore here. That misses the mark. That wasn't even close, Michael. But I mean, the squashed bodies of the fighters just look so silly. And I think it was made even worse by having the real fighters there playing the game. They were getting super into it, even though the gameplay looked a little more slow paced. And I think that's fine. I think there are different types of fighting games. Some are more slow paced and fun to just play and hang out, and others get you really cheering and angry at each other. This looks like more of a slow paced one, so it was funny to see all these real WWE fighters yelling and clenching their fists at this game. With WWE 2K Battlegrounds announced, Nintendo moved into its final announcement, which really was the big one for me. I'm a huge fan of older games becoming relevant again, especially if their series are now popular and weren't. I just find it important for everyone to be able to experience these games and not be limited by them being old or hard to find. So when Atlas announced that Shin Megami Tensei 3 is coming to the Switch, I was pleasantly surprised. I never got a chance to play this older game 
and it's really cool to see this nearly 17 year old game get a new life on the Switch. It's getting HD textures, it's getting more accessibility options, and the creepy lifeless vibe of this game actually intrigues me a lot. But Atlas wasn't done there, and this announcement led into Shin Megami Tensei 5. Now Shin Megami Tensei 5 was announced about 3 years ago, and this was the first gameplay look that we've ever gotten of the game. I think that the graphics look okay, but they are working with the Switch here so I'm not gonna get upset about it. The story appears to be normal Shin Megami Tensei fair with the demon world and this cross between them. But I'd say that this trailer did enough to interest me as a Shin Megami Tensei fan. For someone that's not a fan at all or maybe a more casual fan, I could see how this could be a little disappointing. The big announcement at the end of the direct almost always hypes everyone up and I felt that this was really specific to one audience. And I think that's my problem with this whole direct in general. I don't think it had enough content to really get everyone excited about the games coming. There are only five games included and they were all for niche audiences. I understand that this was branded as a partner direct, but I wouldn't fault anyone for being disappointed. I am personally excited and I feel like this is going to lead into more directs in the future, but I question if this was all enough to make its own direct, especially after seeing that the Japanese version of this direct had a few more games in it. But what did you guys think of the direct? Were you disappointed? Were you hoping for something more? I know I was expecting a big blowout, so I had to temper my expectations when this was announced. But like I said, I won't get on anyone for being disappointed. Just let me know in the comments what you thought. And with this, I will leave you guys until next time. I'll see you in the next video.